Hello, everyone. Welcome to New Consciousness Review. I'm Miriam Knight, and our guest today is Elizabeth Cosmos. Beth has practiced integrative medicine for more than 25 years. She was responsible for the founding and development of a comprehensive hospital-based integrated medicine program for alternative therapies at St. Mary's Hospital in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Beth got a BS from Michigan State University. She received her PhD and THD from Holos University Graduate Seminary, and she's an ordained minister. She studied with the Cuero shamans of Peru and spent time with the Guarani indigenous peoples of the Brazilian rainforest, whose traditional wisdom is actually behind the sacred energy healing method called Amadeus. Beth founded the International Association of Amadeus and teaches Amadeus around the world. Her work has been featured in such international publications as National Geographic, her book is called Amadeus, Healing with the Sacred Energy of the Universe. Welcome, Beth. I'm so delighted to connect with you. Oh, Miriam, thank you. What a beautiful introduction. And, and I have to say that you pronounce the words better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> say the Guarani. You've got that down perfectly. <laughs> I was actually born in South America myself. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. What's ringing through? Uh-huh. It's the DNA resonating. <laughs> so, Very- so Beth, tell us what is Amadeus? Uh, Amadeus is a title given to a healing method, um, and it means it's Latin. Ama is to love, Deus is God. Mm-hmm. Uh, I studied with a Brazilian healer who gave this method this name. And he used to lecture that um, he that Latin is the basis of all Romance languages, but I believe deep down that he gave it a Latin name so that it was not um, affiliated with any one culture. Since this is about the love of God, ama to love and Deus God, and a healing method, then. This is for all people. Alberto used to say, my teacher Alberto Aguas used to say, no one has a copyright on God's love. And so this healing method is something that he came about um, later in his life. He himself was a natural born healer, had uh, went all over the world doing healing work and lectures on healing. But the last 10 years of his life, he had an opportunity to work with a tribe of Indians, the Guarani. And these people knew he was coming. And they shared with him the sacred ways to heal with love. And asked him to come out and share this with the world. And so Amadeus is a healing method in a, in a short <laughs> <laughs> well, your your book was so fascinating because it it intertwines the stories of this amazing healer Alberto Aguas with the development of the healing modality Amadeus with your personal story with your taking this healing modality into um, mainstream medicine. It just has so many... Oh, and you have this fascinating kind of fictional um, visionary story of the Guarani people to, to kind of give it additional um, a, a, a rooting in their tradition. Just um, so well done, Beth. Bravo. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. No, you know, it was interesting, Miriam, because initially what I was doing here was um, in pursuing writing this book, I wanted to pay homage to Alberto and to the Guarani mm-hmm. um, w- from where this came from. And when I'm teaching classes, people really want more information about this. And so I thought, okay, now's the time to, 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 to pay back and respect and homage. And as I wrote, people were saying, who were critiquing it, saying, you need to put more personal stories in there. And I was reluctant at first, but then I started to do that. that. And I think it helped. 
Um, and this interesting, this fiction piece that sort of threads through um, is another way, Miriam, that I see of also incorporating what is oral tradition. This fiction piece in here is a story. And how do the people teach? They teach in oral tradition. So it's a story within a story, so to say. And I hope that maybe a story will stay or linger with a person after mm-hmm. reading. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting when you talk about the, the sacred oral traditions, how the Guarani were moved to share their tradition with Alberto, who, who is a fascinating per- individual, and we will talk about him. But I remember um, sometime last year, I interviewed Hank Wesselman, mm. who received an oral tradition from the kahuna, the last traditional kahuna of, Braz- of um, Hawaii. Hawaii, and, yes. And it's like the time is ripe for these ancient traditional wisdoms to come out and and to help us move on to our next stage. Absolutely. So exciting. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. uh, Gosh, Alberto, Alberto is what was terribly important in your life. Um, Tell us about his background. Who was he? Well, you know, as I, just briefly touched on before, he was a natural born healer, Miriam. He, it all started for him when he was around five years old. Um, his parents, um, were not there and he was taken to a hospital. And while he was in a hospital, during the hospital stay in the night, this is when something occurred to him, how to heal himself. And from that day forward, this is how he healed people. Mm-hmm. And that starting at five years old. Now, his mother uh, practiced energy healing and used to take him with her when she would go to the Espiritas centers where other healers would gather and people would come for healing. And, and why I bring that up is because we have to remember that this man started his healing career at a very young age. He began to experience, see, and observe people's suffering. This became uh, a mission in his life to help people to understand that they are more than just their physical bodies. And um, and so uh, as Alberto grew, there was another passion that he loved too, and that was the limelight. He loved, he loved, uh, <laughs> I have to say. He, he, he loved- became an actor, didn't he? Yes, he did. And a very good one. He received um, high honors and awards in, uh, for his acting uh, and um, was successful in that. But shortly thereafter, he had to leave his country. He was sort of exiled because at the time he was also involved with people who were uh, attempting to um, change the dictatorship or, or or speaking out on the dictatorship that, at the time. Mm-hmm. So he came to the United States, and he was not here very long until he gave a lecture, and, and then he was booked weeks in advance for healing work. And so that started his healing here in the United States, which eventually and very quickly spread all over the world, and a, a lot in Europe. He was back and forth a lot to Europe. And so this is what he did. This was, this was, this was his life. This is what he loved. Last of his life, he decided to go back to Brazil, and that's how he met these people. He said, I never dreamt I would be teaching people how to do something that came natural to himself. So, do you have a sense of how his healing modality shifted as a result of his being with the Guarani? Because Ooh. he already was a, a, an amazing healer. That's a brilliant question. I've never had that before. That's brilliant. Miriam, I would answer it this way. Alberto spoke often about how he evolved within his own healing to recognize what was really doing the healing. He used to discuss about, when he put his hands on people, that 
he would leave his body and he would be above the body watching. He also discussed how other people would observe him, people who had special abilities to see, and they would describe colors and beings and everything around him doing the healing. But he said, ultimately, colors, other spiritual beings, and whether he was suspended um, out of his body, the source of all healing was through love. And what he encountered and what he lectured very strongly on all over the world coming in contact with all kinds of people powerful healers and modalities he said all these techniques are accessing love for healing so when he met these people it was like meeting kindred spirits they understood that it was the force of love that was doing the healing and this method actually taps into that stream of consciousness or to that very fluid state of love for healing.